What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Spy Family, this time with part 2, episode 7. Uh, looking forward to today's episode. Last time we had a really awesome episode with uh, Lloyd taking on uh, this kind of imposter, well, not really an imposter, but this really terrible spy. <laughs> and uh, it was absolutely hilarious episode. Definitely check that out in the eye button up above if you guys did miss it. Uh, I think we might be back at school again in today's episode for the third episode in a row, so looking forward to that. Um, some of my kind of favourite segments do go on with uh, some of the side characters in there, so again, hopefully we do see them today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into it. I have washed my face but I literally just played a very muddy game of football so there might be a little bit of uh, dirt <laughs> on me somewhere probably. It was quite the muddy one and I'm absolutely knackered. I do like coming home and watching Spy Family though, it's a nice little kind of relaxation. Subs look different today. Slightly lower down, I think. And there's usually they don't usually play them during the opening. First time I'm reading them, to be fair. Oh. Cute lyrics in there, aren't they? Cute lyrics. Now I know why that shot of your is so wholesome it goes well with the uh with the line right there doesn't it new characters with some very interesting shaped heads in this show isn't there that lloyd Oh no, it's his son. Oh shit, that's Damien. I don't know why I thought that was Lloyd. It kind of had the same head shape a little bit, so I thought maybe that's Lloyd in, kind of in, being an imposter for that guy, but... Yeah, we did have a little clue last uh, last episode about Damien and this. Um, obviously, that spy was hired to ruin his results, and we saw he's not he's not got the best relationship with his father. That's like a <laughs> <laughs> built different now. Eh? Damn, he's popular with the girls, isn't he? With a name like Damien, I can kind of understand. Women do kind of want that kind of devilish type man, don't they? He's got definitely got the name for it. <laughs> Damien. The Antichrist. Oh, here's the kid. Oh, so that wasn't actually... Oh, I see. So that wasn't Damien's dad. That was this guy's dad. That's the head shape I remember. <laughs> Georgie. This guy's gonna fucking kill him. Oh, so this is the guy that hired the... A kid done this? Wow, you you can pay for that with three months as a kid. Wow. Probably earns more than me. Jesus. Ooh. 
What are you trying to say there? Yeah, he does. Although, again, that's a little bit mean to say. I feel like saying someone looks like an introvert is a little mean. Although, it's not really a derogatory statement or anything. You smoke, Damien? <laughs> you little rat. Oh, shit. You've done that. I thought it was going to hit him. Damn, this guy is good. Oh, my leg really hurts. Oh, my God. This guy is very good at acting isn't he hey let's go Anya <laughs> dangerous Damn, well done, Anya. That's quite the step. Yeah, quite the step in actually kind of building their relationship, that, isn't it? What is that sound effect in every anime? Does anyone else notice that? That kind of love sound effect? It's in like every anime when there's a moment like that. It's that, mm, wow. It didn't say the wow part this time, but it had the start of it. Wow. That fucking sucks, doesn't it? That sucks. <laughs> of course it would. The son of the family failing his exams would ruin that whole business. I'm sure it would. I feel like, well, it's just it's naturally for kids, isn't it? It is a little bit kind of, um, not sure what the word is, overplaying it a little bit, isn't it? Not really sure it'd go homeless. So what? So what for years? So what if he looks like he is? Good on you. They sure are a lot happier now, isn't it? What a, what a juice can do to you. Caviar for kids. <laughs> this guy. At some point, we're going to have to fucking call bullshit on this, right? 
Are they really serving caviar to kids though? Strange. I've never had caviar myself, but I've heard it's not even that nice and I can't imagine kids liking it. Oh well, and just had the same facial expression this whole time. Look at it. It looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> this dude Madame in suit. Oh, you're fucking crying. Oh, definitely. That's not too much of an ask at all, is it? <laughs> Look at Damien fucking getting in the groove. Even these little rats. Wow. This is... Uh... So this is quite holy considering there's a Damien involved. <laughs> like I said, this guy's like named after the Antichrist. And I'm pretty sure it's on purpose. I mean it looks it looks like the Damien from the Omen, so Amazing how many horror references there are in anime in general. How big of an impact it makes overseas as well. I guess he could sell that when he gets homeless. That was quite wholesome, wasn't it? Oh my god, they're all going to give him something. These kids are too rich. <laughs> These kids are way too rich. Be giving away watches and shit. And you know what's going to be funny? That this guy is not going to be fucking changing his lifestyle at all. I can always guarantee that. At least he's got a new appreciation for the school and everything now after this, and the, the students. Maybe he is gone forever. He really has got a strange shaped head, doesn't he? Yep. As expected. <clears throat> After all that. But again, at least he's got some appreciation, but it's going to be pretty embarrassing turning turn back up. I guess he has to give everyone their stuff back. <laughs> Kids do tend to fucking think the world is shit, don't they? Ah oh dear, pretty embarrassing for this dude.
after all that. Somehow I feel even worse for him now. <laughs> even the juice money. I was gonna. I was gonna say, is Anya gonna ask for a fucking leaf back? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, I feel. I feel even bad. I feel even worse for this kid now. Because everyone's gonna think he's fucking just a liar. That's just how kids are. Are though, isn't it? I guess that was like the first half, yeah. Well, I say first half, that was like the first three quarters. I still want more your, my dude. I, I want to see more of her at work. And not her normal work, at her assassin stuff. I feel like we really haven't got enough of it. We haven't had that much of a focus on your. We've been on so many missions with Lloyd. Please, <laughs> give me some your. <laughs> not that I don't like the Lloyd stuff. It's actually some of the best episodes in the series, but... Again, we just we just haven't ever really had a full focus on like a full like episode of focusing on Yor and her assassin work. Maybe it's because they don't want to show her as this kind of brutal killer and such, which would make sense. But it's part of her character. I feel like we get a lot of school stuff with Anya. We get a lot of Lloyd spy stuff. Again, we, when we do focus on your, it's mostly kind of her brother, <laughs> rather than her. Mother becomes the wind. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get a normal bus. You know what, I think it'd be faster running across the street tops. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to do that in that position? <laughs> Did you need to catch that with your foot? Like I said, I think she'd probably just be faster running across the rooftops, which I think she's going to do. Got to get that PE kit. I ain't wearing no, uh, no spare. The spare kit, fucking PE lessons. Oh, god damn! It. My school is was terrible, terrible. You'd think they'd at least try and like wash it, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it wasn't even ever washed at my school. So yeah, it would be about this big a deal for me. Ooh. Oh shit, someone saw her? <laughs> yeah, scanning. Or do you reckon that was actually like a proper rumour? From the old days. Either way. 
oh wow now we're doing some kind of spy espionage work oh no <laughs> oh shit you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he ran away considering what happened to him last time yeah Oh, he looks a bit like uh yeah chain of events starting right here he looks a bit like uh alice cooper <laughs> with the uh with the makeup that uh that cow did is that alice cooper again i'm not really that clued up about old school kind of rock bands I think it was a part of um, Queen is it? Oh, again I'm, yeah probably, I don't think it's Queen is it? Kiss that's the one Kiss Queen that's the thing there's like the short names Get a bit messed up. I yeah, never really listened to Kiss, to be honest. Seen Alice Cooper in quite a few movies, though. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, well, at least you like, like with the earlier story. At least the effort was put in. A little date of sorts, hey? No, I'd like to see more moments like that as well. Again, obviously, they're both not in it for the actual relationship, but I would maybe like to see a date between the two or something similar, or maybe like a situation where they are on a, well, just kind of be it, pretending to be a family, but they're kind of been made to put on a date, if you know what I'm saying. Made to be put in that kind of romantic situation. That's another thing I'd like to see, to be fair. Again, not quite as, uh, not quite as much as I want to see yours job, but either way, good episode today, wasn't it? Again, really enjoy the really enjoy all the kind of uh, kid segments at the school. All the kids and all the side characters seem to have very important, uh, very important and interesting stuff going on in their families and such, don't they? So that was fun. Again, felt felt a bit bad for the uh, for the kid. Again, I don't know why. Uh, obviously, being an intro isn't a. Uh, derogatory statement or anything and it's not a bad thing i'm an introvert but um i feel like the way they say it like this kid looks like an introvert it's just something wrong with that if you know what i'm saying it's not with everyone though everyone has preconceptions of people um everyone's kind of racist and sexist and such like you you look at a person and you judge them <laughs> everyone does it to a certain extent some people less than others of course but everyone has a preconceived notions of what they get into so i can understand it in that way yes he looks like an introvert yes he looks like he'd be quite quiet and kind of keep himself to himself but the same people that uh Yeah, the same people that say that, the same people that say that like, they aren't racist or whatever, but everyone's racist, everyone's sexist. They, again, everyone's got these preconceived notions. That's just my way of thinking about it anyway. When I see a black person, I know I'm speaking to a black person. I know they've got black history and uh, I know that they've uh, 
obviously most likely is well obviously not all of them but some most of them support like uh what's called can't remember the name of it you know what they do in the Premier League, <laughs> where they all uh, Black Lives Matter. That's the one, uh, Black Lives Matter, which is actually more of a political thing. And I think a lot of black people actually don't support that, to be honest with you. But as I said, everyone's got kind of preconceived notions. A black person, when they see a white person, have preconceived notion. Oh, that's a white guy, and they uh, they go off their past events. It's just what humans do, isn't it? Humans are ingrained to learn from past events and learn from meetings with other people. So um, again, that's uh, that's probably way off <laughs> way off the point. But again, I just kind of found it uh, a little bit. Uh, Felt a little bit bad for the kid being judged so quickly from these uh, from these kids. He could have been an extrovert for all we knew. He just kind of looked like an introvert, but he, he did kind of seem a bit uh, introverted, didn't he? The way he kind of burst out his, all of his emotions and again just kind of overplayed things. It very much quite relatable to me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, again, fun episode today. I especially enjoyed that first half, but the second uh, second bit was nice with you as well. Again, I just really want to see you're in that kind of different light, that kind of killer light, if you know what I'm saying. I think they're afraid of showing her like that though. If you if you uh because I imagine a few people might be kind of taken aback by that and it might seem a bit ruthless and such but again her job is an assassin so we know that she does kill people for her job uh, and I've, I'd like to see a little bit more about that personally uh, but yeah fun episode today at the school like I said every episode seems to be very fun at the school uh, let me know what you guys think about this one though down in the comments leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with uh, these reactions also let, let me know what you guys thought about what uh, I said about that kind of everyone's racist and everyone's sexist thing down in the comment section um, again don't really don't really ever see anyone kind of have the same opinion of me on that to be honest with you but I do feel like uh, I do feel like that is the truth for everyone even again the biggest social justice warrior in the world still has preconceived notions when they meet someone in real life so um, yeah uh, interesting uh, just an interesting amusing for me but yeah thank you guys very much for watching and have a good rest of your day guys